This first clock we see is an analog clock. This is the new clock I got. To learn time, let's start off with an easier version of this clock. Okay, the little pointer that spins is called a hand. This clock is a training clock and only has one small hand on it. The small hand is called the hour hand. Around the edge of the clock, we have numbers that go from 1 all the way to 12. This small hand tells us what the hour is. Right now, the hour hand is pointing to the 3, so it must be 3 o'clock. Now what hour is it? 6 o'clock, right. Let's look at another. What hour is this? I heard some of you say it is still 6 o'clock, and you are correct. The hour does not change until it is pointing right at the next number. As long as the hand points between the 6 and the 7, it is still 6 o'clock. Let's try one more. Right now the hour hand is between the 11 and the 12. So is this 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock? It is still 11 o'clock. It will not be 12 o'clock until the hour hand points right at the 12. Good job, guys. Now this training clock works great to tell us what hour it is. But what if you have to be home by a certain time in the middle of the hour? It would be difficult to know exactly when to leave with just using the hour hand. That is why we have what we call the minute hand. Let's bring in one of our big kid clocks. This clock has a big hand and a small hand. We already know the small hand tells us the hour, but do you know what this hand does? This long hand is the minute hand. The minute hand tells us how much time has passed after the hour. When telling time, we always look at the hour hand first. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing to the 12, and the minute hand is pointing to the 1. So would we say the time is 12 and 1 minute? I know you might be tempted to say yes, but that is not correct. Each one of these increments are counted by fives. There are five minutes between each of these big numbers. So when the minute hand is at the one, five minutes have passed. So this is five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and at the 12, the minutes start back over at zero. So right now, the time is 12.05. The hour hand is at the 12, and the minute hand is pointing at the 1, which is 5 minutes. Let's look at another one. Remember, we first look at the small hand for the hour. It is halfway between the 3 and the 4, so with just the hour hand, we know it is 3 o'clock. Now we look at the minute hand. It is pointing to the 6. Does that mean it is 3 and 6 minutes? No, you are right. We have to count by 5s to get the minutes. Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 minutes. So the time is 3.30 because the hour is 3 and after counting by 5s, we see that the minute hand is pointing to 30 minutes. Let's do one last one. Can you help me out on this one? Great. Okay, you caught me sleeping earlier because my bedtime is 8 o'clock at night. When I saw the big hand pointing to the 8, I thought it was my bedtime. To get the correct time, we need to look at the hour hand first. What number is the small hour hand pointing to? It is at the 2 still, so the hour is 2. Great job. Now how many minutes have passed? Remember to count by increments of five. Can you tell me what the minutes are? The minutes are 40, so the time is 2.40. Great job, everyone. Now that I know how to tell time, I will not try to sleep at 2.40 in the afternoon. Thank you so much for your help, guys. Remember to keep practicing and you will get better. Hey friends, guess who has come to meet us today? Jumbo and Jimbo the Clowns. Let us understand the concept of division with them. 
To begin, we will distribute four bottles equally between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? One, two. One, two. Each one of them got two bottles. Now, there are six bottles to be equally shared between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? One, two, one, two, one, two. Wow! Each one gets three bottles. Look who joined Jumbo and Jimbo. Jojo the Clown. So now we need to distribute nine bottles equally between Jumbo, Jimbo and Jojo. How many will each one get? Well done! Three bottles to each one. In all these examples, we shared the number of objects equally according to the number of groups needed. This is called dividing into equal groups or division. Thus, when a total number of things or objects are distributed into equal groups, we carry out the operation called division. 